of eight seconds as I found eight seconds is easily enough time for viewers to see and read the alert. And finally we can set the alert text delay. So this is the number of seconds delay for displaying the text after your image and your audio show. So if you want Hey what's up big Operation I Droid here and in this video I'm going to be showing you the basics of OBS aka the open broadcaster software. One of the best live streaming programs for Mac. I've been using this program to set up layouts for live recording and live streaming for quite some time and with its recent 0.9 update I believe it's one of the best live streaming clients for Mac. Not to mention that it's free. With all that being said, let's begin the tutorial. Alright, so what you're looking at right now is OBS. Now, hopefully you've already downloaded and installed OBS by following the link in the description below. And if you have not, just pause the video Absolutely. 
persona. We don't sign into our main account. We sign into this dummy account. So it connects to that one and not the main one. And for obvious reasons, I'm not going to, so you go in and put it. But now I think you actually fail to connect. That's okay.
2K Sports Pregame Show, brought to you by Kia. Hello, everybody. Glad you could join us here on 2K Sports. I'm your host, Ernie Jones. Next to me, Kenny, the Jet Smith, and Dr. Nikhil O'Neill. And tonight, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Washington Wizards. Looking at the Wizards, prior to the game, Coach commented on their level of confidence in the locker room, and he feels that they are prepared with a very strong game plan for various matchups. Angelil Okafor, the former Duke star, came into the league and was an impact player right away. Uh, it's rare to see a player with so much polish this early in his career. You know, Kenny hate this Thanks word, but I'm going to keep on saying that this guy has some of the best feet work in the post and can make defenders look foolish. Yes, it is. Not the fastest, but knows how to use his body to shield the ball, and I love his feet work. Well, I think surprisingly he slipped to number three in the draft pick. After winning the national championship, I thought he'd go number one. But uh, right now, I think he's got everything together. He's starting to get his act together on and off the court, so he understands that this can make him a star. That does it for us for now. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you later. to another presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. With Greg Anthony and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge will join us from the sideline. Our Philadelphia 76ers preparing to defend home court in this Eastern Conference battle. So Philadelphia will get the first possession. So a look at the starters for the Wizards. The always dangerous wall and beal are the backcourt. Porter and Morris, the duo at forward, and it's Gortat in at the center, filling out the middle. Here's Covington. He's covered by Beal. We got a battle at center tonight. What will you be watching there? Yeah, I think these are two franchises, Kevin, that obviously pride themselves on what they do on the defensive end. It all starts there. Their philosophy is championships begin there. And if you're talking about defense, no better position to start from than the center spot. Two great win protectors that we're going to watch tonight. Make a difference, they certainly do. And so it's the 76ers getting on the board first. Wall. That one's rebounded by Embiid. We're about one minute into the first. McConnell kicks to Simmons. Shoots from 14. Off and in, off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. 
Seconds left to play in the first quarter. Left side, Anderson. And they get it. Bad job, Nelson. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Washington out in front, up three. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of the screen.
2K Sports pregame show presented by Kia. This is the NBA on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, happy to be here with my friends, and I mean that, my buddies, my pals, Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. In this game, we'll see the Indiana Pacers against the Chicago Bulls at United Center. For Chicago, they are clearly amped up for this one and determined to have a strong showing from the get-go. They feel this is a game they can win and want to establish that pace early on. And last year it became clear that this Bulls team was transitioning from the Derrick Rose era to the Jimmy Butler era. If you were in charge of the Bulls, Shaq, how would you build this team around Butler? Well, Butler isn't a guard that likes to dominate the ball like James Harden, so you can still have an elite player at the point to complement him. You might want more of a second threat to add to the second option, but Jimmy Butler, great direction to go with this. Well, I'm not from the school of thought of errors. I'm from the school of thought. Errors are built after the fact, not while they're there. Uh, Butler's defense is great. Uh, I would still build a de defensive-minded basketball team. I do like the way they can do that, and that could be a driving force in this game. Getting ready for the opening tip. Let's go to Kevin Harlan. Chicago lighting up the sky. Chicago, Illinois, home of the Bulls in a fine Eastern Conference battle at the United Center. And get ready for another dose of NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And of course, David Aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline. off the tip. Here's the starting group for the Indiana Pacers. George and Young are the forwards. C.J. Miles is out there with Teague and it's Turner in at the five down low. Now here is Miritich. Wade has the open look. They get a bet. The shot's good from Lopez. Lopez has got the game going with his first points of the game for the Bulls. Teague with the ball. George kicks the tee. Indiana moving the ball over. Now Miles. Teague with a clean look. A picture-perfect screenplay, and the jumper's good. Yeah, Teague did a good job to not allow any room coming off that screen. Helped him get the space to finish that play. Well, you know, C.J. Miles was drafted right out of high school back in 2005, and has over a decade in the league now, and really in his prime as an NBA player. He's a quality swing man can give you good minutes whether he's starting or coming off the bench. And Miles swinging to the power forward position defensively. Uh, we saw that throughout last season as the Pacers guys look to go small from time to time. And you know, the power forward position, not his best position defensively, um, guys. His defense has improved overall in recent years, but his metrics defensively suffered because he was, in many cases, overmatched from a size standpoint. Offensively, he's a streaky shooter who can get it going from the three-point line and take you off the bounce in the paint. the second from the line. You know, you figured that Dwayne Wade might be a player to finish his career playing for just one team, the Miami Heat, but in the end, things just ended bitterly. Wade had taken less money in the past so the Heat could win titles. I mean, he was done playing for a discount, and the Bulls, boy, did they step up. Here's Turner. Miracic grabs the miss. The defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot. I mean, he doesn't miss many of them. You know, nine times out of ten, he's going to knock that one down. He'll spray that one on you. There's a screen. Screen by Young. Takes a three. 
George, no good. And with the trade of Derrick Rose and the departure of Bob Gasol, it seemed like the Bulls might look to rebuild and go young. Then they reverse course and get Chicago native Dwayne Wade. And don't forget the deal for Rajon Rondo. Uh, they're taking kind of a, a blended approach. Not a lot of three-point shooting in that backcourt. So it, it'll be interesting to see how all these pieces fit together. That's great. Here they come. Yeah, that's, it's close, but, you know, did you get on balance quick enough? Yeah, and as quick as players are at this level in this day and age, I mean, you've got to be perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. And guys, when you take a look at the Pacers offensively, one of the least efficient teams in the league. How do they turn the corner in that regard? Well, they've got to get more playmaking. They need more guys that can make plays at a low rate of assist and high rate of turnovers. And that's mainly attributable to not having enough playmakers. And so Miritich nails both of them. For Indiana, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. The 11-footer, they grabbed their own miss, got a piece of it. And here we go, the Bulls, that's great, it's stolen by T. And here we go, George heading to the hoop. He's now one for two with that bucket. And one great play leads to another with T. His fast hands and fast feet making things happen. Grant the pass to Portis, all alone. It's rebounded by Indiana. That would have been lucky had it fallen four shots away. Yeah, look at the coach's face and the expression. It says all over it. Are you kidding me? One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Bulls lead by one. From the United Center in Chicago, back in a moment. seems to improve every season. Jimmy Butler, he spoke with us about one of his biggest surprises. It's crazy because I never thought that anybody would be preparing to guard me night in and night out. But they do. I have to um, learn to cope with that and still find a way to be um, successful on both ends of the floor. And it's a learning curve for me also. But I'm, I'm figuring it out. And hard to doubt the dedication of Jimmy Butler. He's found a way to overcome obstacles at each important point along the way. Uh, you know, he's a self-made player. And if Butler can stay healthy, boy, the sky's the limit. Now up to this point, a closely contested game as we start the second quarter. And guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? It's been about the effort. Love the hustle they've shown here in the first. Yeah, it's due to their hustle, as you said, Greg, and it's showing up on the scoreboard, too. On the court for the Pacers as our second quarter gets underway. They've got Robinson. Kevin Sherpin is out there with Miles Turner. Then there's Ellis. And it's Stevenson in at the shooting guard. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Alden. Well, guys, it was controversial in Chicago, but the Bulls hired Fred Hoiberg to replace Tom Thibodeau. Hoiberg played for a decade in the NBA, and at Iowa State, he was the fastest coach in school history to reach 100 wins. In Chicago, guys, it seems he's loosened the reins a bit, giving the players a little more leeway to shoot with confidence and air it out offensively. The players have responded. Thanks, David. Pacers shooting their first free throw of the game. And if we want to take a look back, they converted about 76% from the line. <laughs> Chicago trailing here. And the Pacers playing in one of the league's smallest markets. They've had some tough attendance numbers over the last 10 years. And one of the best basketball facilities, I think, in all the NBA. And the city of Indianapolis actually stepped up in 2014. Uh, 
They promised over $160 million to help offset the team's losses over the following decade in exchange for the franchise extending its lease. And long term, hopefully the fan support enables them to stay where they belong in the heart of Indianapolis. So it's Chicago now. The Pacers taking the shot. Butler can't get that one to fall. D2 from Robinson. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Bulls trail by four. Guys are looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Yeah, good job to take it right at the game. Yeah, really left them no choice there, Greg. I mean, he had the foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for Indiana. They've made the commitment to get out and run, and it's paid off with some highlight reel plays in transition. You know, another factor in their offense so far has been their ability to convert and score off turnovers. That free throw missing. And, and really, you got to commend the, the Bulls for the success they've had in, in the draft. You look at that roster, you see a ton of big minute players who were drafted by the Bulls. They've done a great job of finding players to fill roles within that team. Ajan Rondo is checked in for Cannon. C.J. Miles, he's checked in for Indiana. And he can't hit the second. And with the Bulls and their draft success, a lot of it has come with picks, Greg, later on in the draft. Yeah, the last lottery pick the Bulls had was there as well. It got not a bad one there. But since then, they've drafted or made trades on draft day to find a ton of rotation players. Give a lot of credit to their scouting department for their continued success. And he just big boyed it right there. The height advantage he's got down low, really difficult for them to defend. This is Jemiah. Turner with the screen. Lock at six. Turner with the screen for Stevenson. Outside Robinson for the three. Robinson can't get that one to fall. The Bulls have gone one of three to start off the second quarter. Rondo kicks to Portis. And that one's good. Zipser. And that will tie this game up. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes, like conducting an orchestra. Ellis kicks to Miles. Ellis down low. He's covered by Rondo. And Monte Ellis, the bucket on the assist from Miles. And playing with a lot of fire now. They had a tough start in that first quarter. Didn't shoot it well, but didn't let that discourage them. And now they're showing what they can do. It's tipped. Here's Lopez, and it's good off the back rim and in. Lopez has got five points so far. Well, well, he knew how many inches he had over the guy. I mean, let's face it, good decision to just rise up and take the jump shot. And Turner kicks to Miles. Expanding his range, and Monte Ellis hits from deep. Ellis has got his second bucket of the game to go. And Ellis launching the three-point shot. That's not a bad look. He's a sniper with a feel for the long ball at times. And here's Rondo. They set the pick. Here's Butler. It's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Well, it wasn't a textbook pick, but he still managed to score. Good concentration on the finish. And the first half comes to a close. We've got a close game going on here. Indiana out in front, up one. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much. Monte, very active on defense. Looks like it really got you going offensively. Uh, we know if we get deeper in the stop, it's going to lead the offense. So that's going to be our main um, focal point is um, defense and get out and run. Mission accomplished in the first half, Monte. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hi again, everybody. Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. For the Pacers, the first quarter was pretty even. Some good action during the period, as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. If you look at the second quarter scoring, they had a small edge. They really hung tough as we got close to halftime. And Kenny, what do you think about what we saw from Indiana? Well, there was one pleasant surprise, and that was the bench. They gave them a big lift. Those guys came into the game, they did all the dirty work, and they scored back. 
How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Chicago? You know, they didn't play too safe, but they made some really nice shots. Those were some much needed points, and it keeps them right in the game. As long as they stay on the same page and keep working together, they got a great chance to take control of this game. All right, that is going to wrap up our halftime report as it's just about time for the start of the third quarter.
like if I do my Streamlab alert, like just to test it out, it should go across and stuff like that right now, right? Sports pregame show brought to you by Kia. Welcome, everybody. This is 2K Sports with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. I'm Ernie Johnson. Let me go ahead and. Oh, so the Streamlab is only to Twitch, though. Let me call Bam my back. Send an invite. Are you in the chat? Oh, you can hear me? Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Here's what I was finna ask you, bruh. I was finna ask you, um, damn, what the fuck I was finna ask you, bro. You know how it has the lock, 
it says sources. How do you get your camera to to pop up on the stream too? But I was gonna ask you: Does Streamlab only work for um Twitch? So okay, so the Streamlab should automatically work no matter if you're streaming or not. But how do you hook it up to your OBS? I I did every I set everything up, bro. I'm saying you put some like some customized some custom, shit on that custom everything. Yeah, yes, bro. So I, when you see when you see it's a it's a uh, it's called alert box, right? Yeah. So when you see it, it's got a little thing that got it's locked on it. So uh, what you do, you make it show that, and then you copy and paste that, and then you go back to OBS, and then you put in um. Uh, Oh, that's why. So you have to put it in your OBS, and you have to put it in as sources. What do you? Where is that? Where do you go to do that, though? Damn. I don't. I have an Apple. I can't right click. <laughs> shit. Okay, I go to scenes and I add this. I hit it here. I you. Okay. You know what? No, I don't see it, but you know what? Um, the dude told me to download that and put it as a plug-in. Oh, okay. Let me go do that right now, then. That's what that's what that dude was talking about. CRL browser, right? Or something like that. Okay. So you have... Mm-hmm. Plug in right here. C L R browser. Let me go download that bit. Dang, cuz. See, let me see if that shit gonna work though. I think it's gonna work then, bitch. Well, I'm gonna do it on Twitch. I just wanted to do it on here. Let's see. You said what? Oh, this shit. What the fuck? I think my thing. Oh. Or a post on Facebook. Then. I charge my damn. Oh, you got to do that shit again. CLR browser. OBS studio. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck that salad up, ain't it? Classic only? Which one you got? The classic one? Oh. What's the difference, bro? Okay. Okay. Okay, so, uh. Oh, how the fuck? Twitch, subscribe. 
Bro, I ain't know the subscribers pay you, bro. But you don't get all of it, but damn. Oh, so but he the one that oh spam up the SSH. What? Dang! Not everybody get the SSH. Only his subscribers get it. Dang! <laughs> oh, you can't spam it up. But everybody can chat in his party, though, right? Oh, for real. Yeah. Shit, I'm about to do that too. What? Wait, shit, I need a. That's that's really good, bitch. So anybody in that bitch, they gotta um, follow you. They they gonna hit that follow. I'm gonna go look for that. I don't know where that's at, cause uh. So you don't even have to worry about saying, oh, f hit that follow. A oh, bitch already following your ass. <laughs> hey, that's it. Okay. So, okay, let me go look for it. Oh. Dang, that's that's what's up, bro. If they want to talk, that's if they want to talk. But if they just join it, mm -hmm. But they don't get none of your. They got some shit now. You know what I'm saying? They got some shit for 9 dollars Now they got some shit where you can sell it for $9.99. You know what I'm saying? $24.99. Damn. Shit. Yeah. Shit. 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 Okay, search for C R. They only got classic, bro.
Display okay, OBS Studio status overlay. Display streaming recording status at and I think one of the dudes said they had the link for it. I did, but it's not coming. OBS project. That's the that's the website. That bitch only on the old one. Or is this called something else? CLR plugin? Oh. I'm gonna download this one. Plugins in any CLR. That shit came out in 2013. That shit old as fuck. CLR host. What the fuck is that? What the fuck are you watching, bro? You watching the stream? Yeah, bitch. I hear myself talking. That had to be. Let me go check. Let me go look at it. The fuck? So it was streaming. What the fuck? Okay, so this was the video I was streaming, but it ain't. Man, this shit confusing, bro.
just at halftime as the second half is just about to get underway. See you after the game. sky above of this lovely city as we make our return to New Orleans, Louisiana. And the third quarter about ready to get underway. Bama. So why isn't it streaming? Like, I'm on YouTube, but it's not showing the display on my uh, OBS. Bama. So why isn't it streaming? Like, you get what I'm saying? do it with the video yeah yeah I'm, I'm straight I'll just when you done
How do you display your OBS to your Twitch? You got to sign in or sign out? Mm -hmm. Sign out? Well, I signed, oh, well, I, on my YouTube. I, I, I don't, it's not coming up. Like, the display on my OBS ain't coming up on the YouTube page. Okay. That's why I was telling you. That's why I was telling you. You gonna have to stream on both, on one or the other. But you can't stream on two at the same time. No, I'm saying like, I'm talking about right now. Like the what's what I'm streaming right now is not coming up on my YouTube. It's just um, what's coming off my PlayStation. Exactly. The PlayStation gonna beat the um the thing. That's why I'm saying, if you stream, one of the things on your PlayStation, you're going to have to stream from other things on your computer. So, I, oh, so if I was to turn my stream off on my PlayStation right now, mm -hmm. this would pop up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me go check and see. Oh, you can't even do that then.